new education policy gives emphasis on the assignments and practical learning of the student and that's the reason that many universities in india and abroad have come up with the concept called as internship so internship gives an opportunity to the student to get uh, the real time experience in the industry and also an opportunity to implement what is been taught in the classroom so by the end of this video you will be able to know and understand various internships which are available for the students rather the types of internships which are offered to the candidate Hey everyone welcome back once again by the end of this video you will be able to know and understand types of internship make sure to watch the video till the end and if you're new to the channel then please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get the updates of regular uploadings in this video you will learn three important types of internship so let's get started moving ahead in this video i request everyone to watch the video which i have already uploaded on my channel relating to benefits of doing the college internship you can press on the i button or i have left the link here in the description box make sure to check that video to get more detailed information about the benefits of internship or benefits of doing the college internship so coming back to the types of internship number 1 is on job internship as the name itself suggests that this internship is doing a job in real that's why we called as on job training or on job internship so here the students are requested to register themselves with the companies with the organizations ngos trade organizations or any sort of business which is run by the entrepreneurs or startups or people student can register themselves and undergo the internship program as the name says on job training here the student gets an opportunity to do the job or the kind of work which they are planning to get into the second type of the internship is a virtual internship the name itself suggests that a virtual it means online so student can register themselves with the organizations or the companies and work remotely this internship is purely online or remote based internship so student can work online part time depending upon the requirement of the industry company and a candidate there are various virtual internships available for the students of marketing hr finance uh, maybe engineering management and commerce domains to make it very simple virtual internships are like online jobs where student can stay at their home or the place where they are staying and can do the internship the advantage of doing the virtual internship is that student can work remotely uh specially online as per their schedule and as per the time which permits to the candidate but the only limitation of the virtual internship since it's online so candidate will not be able to get the experience of actual work environment or a business exposure and internship number type 3 is externship or we call them as a shadow internship uh, in this the student has to observe the work process especially if the students want to do internship maybe in banks maybe in manufacturing unit so here the students are supposed to observe the process it can be a customer uh, process manufacturing process or a buying process it can be any sort of process so most uh, importantly this internship is based on observation based internship why this type of internship must have been introduced reason being in certain industries especially in manufacturing and operations actual work is not given to the candidate but yes the candidates are allowed to observe the processes and learn something from it so these were the key types of the internship one was on job uh, internship second one was online internship or virtual internship and third one was the externship or a shadow internship uh, next the question comes what should be a right duration for doing the internship so as per the manual of certain universities it should be of minimum 60 hours some university may demand the candidate to go for maybe 120 hours or uh, special internships are also been given to the master student especially if you are an engineering or a mba student then student has to go for at least 2 months or 3 months of internship so these were three important types of internship i'm sure you must have found this video helpful and informative if so then please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel Uh, the next video is going to be based on how to find the internship because we have seen types of internship and then the question comes how to find or how to face the internship so make sure to watch the next video i'll see you guys in the next video until then this is sandeep signing off
Thank you for your time.